Hi, Bob Umar from Admit Master, and we're doing a problem from my brand new GMAT book, Barron's Educational Series in New York City, Barron's GMAT book. I'm the lead author here. We're going to look at a problem, a hard one, a probability problem on page 223, question number 7. So here we have it on the board here. Question. Frances tosses a coin 10 times. What is the probability she will get exactly 5 heads and 5 tails? Now, some people might say, well, probability of this was not that hard, but actually, when you really think about it, it's very complicated. Now the standard probability is probability of A is the number of times A happens over the total number of occurrences. And we use that basic knowledge to help us figure this out. The reason why it's hard is because she tosses it 10 times, but then we have so many different possible configurations. You could have 5 H's and 5 tails. You could have HT, 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 or you could have HHT and HTT. And it gets really complicated. There's actually a lot of different probabilities. And so the, the reason is problem is more complicated is first off instead of tossing a coin two times or three times or tossing a coin ten times on top of that it requires some knowledge of permutations and combinations and even more than that advanced permutations in the sense that there's a scenario of permutations with repeated elements which is involved here so let's go back to the problem probability of a is the number of times a happens which is the number of times you get this configuration or the total number of occurrences, which is the total number of possibilities you can get from tossing a coin 10 times. That's where we get this thing. Every single coin toss gives you two possibilities. Every subsequent coin toss gives you two more possibilities. So two times two times two times two. 10 coin tosses is two to the 10th power. So there's 1,024 possible occurrences for the coin toss. That's the first part, that's the bottom part. The top part is a little bit harder because how do we calculate the number of configurations? Well, if we use our theory of knowledge for permutations, this is permutations with repeated elements. And the formula is n factorial, which is the total number of uh, elements at play, divided by a factorial and b factorial, where a, and, where a and b are the number of repeated elements. Since heads and tails repeat five times each, we get 10 factorial over five factorial, five factorial. And when you calculate that, you get 252. So the total number of times A happens is 252. The total number of occurrences is 1024. So the probability of A is 252 over 1024. It's obviously not here in our answer choices, so we have to reduce. And when you reduce it, you get 63 over 256, which is right here. The answer is B.